All right, friends, we're, we're getting there. Two more chapters. So this is chapter 15 from otherwise known as Sheila the Great. This afternoon, I am going to take my swimming test. I hope it rains. I hope it rains and pours until we leave here. But when I checked the sky, the sun was shining. And when I turned on the radio and listened to the weather report, there was no rain forecast. So I hope I get sick and the doctor says I can't go in the water for 10 days, but I feel fine, except for my stomach, which keeps jumping all around. So I hope that when I get to the pool this afternoon, Marty won't be there and no one will be able to find him. Then I will never have to take my swimming test. But when we got to the pool, Marty was there waiting for me. That's when I knew there was no getting out of it. I would have to take my beginner's test. And if I drowned, I drowned. It was better not to think about it. Besides, chances were I wouldn't drown. Marty would probably save me. But if he had to jump in and save me in front of everyone, that would be as bad as drowning, maybe even worse. When I was in my suit, mom said, good luck, Sheila, and please don't be nervous. Me? Nervous? I said, ha ha, that's really funny. When Marty saw me, he called, hi, Sheila, all set? I didn't answer him. Okay, now, here's all you have to do, Marty said. First, you'll jump in and swim across the deep end of the pool. Then you'll tread water for two minutes. I don't know who Marty thought he was fooling. If he expected me to jump in and swim across the deep end of the pool, he was even nuttier than I thought. He was more than nutty. He was even more than crazy. He was also stupid, dumb, and an idiot. Are you listening to me, Marty asked. Oh, sure, I told him, I'm listening, but you know I can't swim across the whole pool. Yes, you can, Marty said. I folded my arms and gave him one of my best stares. You've got to try, Sheila, that's all I ask. You can't give up without trying. Who's giving up, I asked. I can swim, you know that, you've seen me. Okay, Marty said, so I know it. So now I want you to prove it to everyone by swimming across the pool. Maybe I just don't feel like it. Look, Sheila, there's absolutely nothing to be afraid of. If you can't make it, I'll be right there to help you. I am not afraid. Then prove that you're not. Jump in right now and start swimming. I know you can make it. I have a lot of confidence in you. I didn't answer him. Please, Sheila, please try for me. I liked the way Marty said that, but when I looked across the pool to the other side, it seemed 10 miles away. You promise nothing bad will happen, I asked. I promise, Marty said, word of honor. I'll even clear this section of the pool while you take your test. Do I have to keep my face in the water the whole time? Nope, you can swim across any way you want. How far is it across? Is it about a mile? Marty laughed. It's only 40 feet. It looks like 10 miles to me, I said. It's not, tell you what, I'll count to three, then you jump in and start swimming. I'll walk along the side of the pool and if you have any trouble, I'll pull you out. You'll really be near me? Yes, I told you that, now get ready. I stood at the edge of the pool. Marty counted, one and two and three, jump. I didn't move. What are you waiting for, Marty asked. I, I, I wasn't quite ready, I told him, let's try it again. Okay, here we go. And one and two and three, jump. I held my nose and jumped in. When I came up, I looked for Marty. He was right where he said he would be. Swim, swim, he called. I started. First, I tried blowing bubbles, but I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. So I kept my head out and swam like a dog. That way I could see what was going on. And I could keep an eye on Marty to make sure he followed me all the way across. Every time I looked up at him, he yelled, go, Sheila, go. I swam past the low diving board then past the high one, and then I started to get tired. I couldn't get my arms all the way out of the water, and my legs didn't want to kick anymore. I looked up at Marty. Go, Sheila, go, don't stop now. Marty was wrong. The pool wasn't 40 feet across. It was really 40 miles. I never should have tried it. Go, go. Why didn't he just shut up? When I raised my head and looked straight across the pool, who did I see waiting for me but Mouse and the twins? They were yelling, go, go, just like Marty. I wanted to tell them to stop, that I would never get to their side. This was very stupid, and soon I would be dead. Why didn't Marty pull me out? What was he waiting for? Couldn't he see I wasn't going to make it? I tried to say, I can't make it, but it came out so soft he didn't hear me. He said, that's it, keep on going. I can't, I can't, I thought, and then... My hand touched the ladder. Mouse and the twins were cheering and jumping up and down. Marty was yelling, you made it, you made it, I knew you would. It was true. I swam across the deep end of the pool and I was still alive. I really and truly did it. 
I tried to climb up the ladder, but Marty bent down and said, now, all you've got to do is tread water for two minutes. No, no, let me up. Relax, Shieldy, you can do this. Just tread for two minutes. Treading water is pretty easy. It's just like riding a bicycle, except that you aren't on one. But I was so tired, I wanted to go to sleep. Marty was holding a watch. He talked to me the whole time I was treading. He said, that's it, Sheila, only one more minute to go. And what's one little minute? When we got down to the last couple of seconds, Marty counted out loud. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hooray, you did it, you did it. I climbed up the ladder and Marty put his arms around me. Then he gave me a big kiss right in front of everybody, but I didn't mind. My mother ran over and wrapped me up in a towel and Mouse and the twins dragged a huge lounge chair over to me. I really did it, I asked over and over. You sure did, Marty said. How about that? Never mind that Mouse and the twins are already working on their advanced cards. Never mind that Libby is practically a junior lifesaver. Never mind that I will never dive like Betsy Ellis or stand on my hands under the water. I can swim. I proved it to everyone, including myself. I am Sunny Tubman, girl swimmer. I am Super Sheila the Swimmer Wonder. I am, I am, I am Sheila, I heard my mother say. Are you all right? I think I nodded. Then another voice laughed and said, she's asleep, that's all. I think it was Marty, but I couldn't even open my eyes to thank him. All right, friends, tomorrow is chapter 16. It's a little tiny chapter, and then we are done with this book. And then I will be reading you Double Fudge. So yay, the last fudge book. Oh, I don't really want them to be over, but I have some other good books lined up for you just, just in case for after that. So love you. See you tomorrow.